sort of kind of struggling this morning in our interior cabin. It's 10 o'clock and it feels like it's still 6 (laughs) a.m. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody, and welcome to our 90s interior stateroom. The ship was in the 1990s, 1996, and we're all the way back in the 90s. Good morning. Our breakfast should be here soon. See, here's the big problem. The other time is that we just gained an hour, and it's not 10 o'clock, it's actually 9 o'clock. Our food isn't coming for another 30 minutes, so that kind of also messed us up. But um, I want to do a tour and show you guys what it's like to stay in a 90s interior cabin. I want to wait until today, my second day, so I got a full sleep and how I kind of enjoyed it and just really what it's like to stay inside a uh, very out of date room, but it's really not that out of date. Does that make sense? For those coming on this ship, do not purchase the Wi-Fi. It is, it is not up to date right now. It may be Starlink, but it's not up to Starlink par because I think they're going to be doing some stuff when they go to dry dock. It's not the greatest. I don't think we're gonna get some videos uploaded here, but hopefully we get going here shortly. AKA our food comes soon. Our continental breakfast has arrived. We just had called because we were wondering where it, where it was. And we think they we called the wrong number. We called the in-room dining room service number and they said they didn't get our order, but it came five minutes later and here we are. This is all free of charge, by the way. Everything is is free. We even got some coffee. Coffee's over there. The food is obviously nothing very major. We just wanted some little bites before we um, went up to in the dining hall for lunch. We've never done that before, so we kind of go want to go to the main dining for for lunch instead of going to like to the Windjammer. I'll give you a proper tour of this '90s state cabin once we get it clean, because there's some things that are different, especially in the closet. And the bathroom's actually pretty nice. Ooh, Royal Caribbean's being nice and they're letting me put the computer in the lab. Hopefully it uploads. We're gonna be heading on in the, to the main dining for lunch. Looks like it's 11.30. Didn't get up for breakfast because of the time. Oh wow, that's early. Yeah, that's pretty early. But we'll see there at 11.30. The main question I have right now is like what we're going to do. I think we're gonna take a nice little stroll around the ship and just kind of see what what's going on. Casey had a good idea. We're gonna go outside because I haven't seen the light yet. Oh, so we haven't really seen Casey in the vlog, so. Good morning. Good morning. We're alive. We actually, I slept really well last night. Yeah, it really wasn't bad. I can't wait to show you guys the room though. Oh, it's cool. It's like the end of the ship already. The things you gotta do when you have an interior cabin. We're out on the deck. It's actually really nice. We just go up one floor in. We have our own little private balcony because no one's here. Well, there's someone behind us, but that doesn't count. (laughs) As far as my first impressions of the cabin, I actually don't dislike it as much as I thought I was going to. It's a little bit different because, you know, I'm used to waking up with like some sunlight coming through the curtains, but it's like a dungeon. It's like you're you're in a basement in Wisconsin in the Midwest and you, you slept downstairs for the night. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. Even when it's like a 90s themed room i don't feel it as much as i felt our carnival ship moving it's kind of hectic in the gulf today but really not that bad i just told casey that one of these days she should take over the vlog i offered today and she said what did you say i said no (laughs) i'm just you know you're so good at it i'm just here vibing relaxing we'll see maybe maybe i'll surprise you guys We're headed to the back of the ship. We get to the back of the ship in two seconds. It's actually kind of... Indeed, yes. It's a very intimate type ship, and I'm not against it. I actually think I like smaller ships, Mm -hmm. and I like big ships too, don't get me wrong. Okay, we're here already. Wait, this is awesome. It's amazing. Look at this. Wow. Wow. It's all about the views when you cruise and food and beer and entertainment and who you cruise with. You. I don't think I mentioned, but most of you guys can tell and probably by the title, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. It's our day at sea. Wow, that looks beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, wow. (laughs) I love this area because you can just see the entire back of the ship and nothing is obstructing it. 
It's a it's, small ship. It's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Happy this is the first thing I see when I walk outside yeah. pretty much from it our interior. It is nice. It's very nice yeah. actually. Like our interior is kind of in a perfect location. It really is. Oh my gosh, there's a guy trying to climb on top of the ship over there. Well, he just jumped. That's the rock climbing wall. We found the toilet for dogs. This is where they go. That's Do kind they even of... have gloves? Yeah, they have gloves for you to pick up the, the gift that your dog leaves. Or cat. We want to go check to see if our duck is still hidden. Got to go up one more flight. We're just mindlessly walking around. I don't know, I feel like that's what a lot of people do on Day at Sea. They do have Starbucks on board, by the way, guys. Hello. Upcharge, obviously. I'm actually really surprised. Or Doug is still there. I'm so surprised. I guess it was a good hiding spot or nobody wants to stay on a duck. There it is. It's probably gonna be there forever now. But Casey found something. There's a community bulletin board here. I've never seen this. This is if you wanna meet people on the ship. You can fill out one of these cards and put, you kind of create a little meeting point. Time, <laughs> location. We should do that, see if people show up. <laughs> That'd be so funny. It'd be like a, meeting and hang out with new people on the ship. <laughs> That'd be good for like solo cruisers. Honestly, yeah. We're still going strong with the no stair challenge. <laughs> no elevator challenge. We're seeing if I caught any guys off guard. Solarium is definitely busier than, than day one, but as you guys would expect, there's still that not too many people here, which is nice. There's plenty of open spots, which is super nice. It's a split between the relaxing people and the party people on the main deck and those who just want a quiet vibe. This is definitely my vibe. The ship is also not nearly as crowded as when we took that spring break cruise. No, this is nice. For, for reasons, obviously, we went during spring break, but people are spread out. It doesn't feel crowded on the ship. Mm -mm. I know it may seem like we just ate, but Casey and I are counting down the minutes until we go into main dining for lunch. They've got mozzarella sticks. Can't wait to try that. Casey actually spotted that. And they have a pulled pork sandwich. I've never, I don't think I've ever been to the main dining for lunch. I always go to the Windjammer. This theoretically should be a little bit better. Higher quality food, right? I guess we'll find out. And then we'll go show our uh, 90s themed room. Lastly, don't get offended if uh, we, uh, or if I, say this because i'm gonna say this but it's definitely an older vibe of a ship and i'm totally here for it i can just tell by the activities and also we went and saw the comedian last night um some of her jokes were funny but i feel like all of her jokes were geared towards older people because she was joking about like the 70s the 80s and the 90s like i was laughing but definitely a comedian that wasn't for me still had a good time you know i'm just Keep reviewing, keep reporting for you guys to see if this ship would be good for you. It's definitely a relaxing ship for sure, which I feel like I, I needed and I really wanted. I didn't really feel like Royal kind of had that, but it seems like they do here in uh, Tampa. But that was a little bit of a look at all the activities that we have here for day number two. We've got an amazing event that we're headed to right now. There is just amazing events going on. We're going to napkin folding. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, it's like a. You said it, which is funny to me. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a relaxed vibe. I love a good towel holding. Right. I actually have a book that my family bought when we first started cruising. You and my, do not. <laughs> my sister and I used to towel fold at home. Oh my gosh! Well, yeah. she's gonna be an expert. Let's go find out. I wouldn't say that, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Since the ship is so small. We're folding napkins in the Schooner bar. Yeah, Usually it's somewhere else. In like a uh, napkin folding. So if anyone wants to climb the napkin folding. Oh, it's napkin folding, the, not yeah, towel folding. Wow, it's gonna be amazing. Napkin. Usually it's somewhere else. I don't remember where it is, but we have an ocean view, so that's okay. Hello. Hello, how are you? Here you go. Thank you. I've never napkin folded before. We're gonna be pros. We'll be doing this at all of our dining opportunities we have. Casey and I actually have an announcement. This is a retirement cruise. Thank you guys so much for watching all the vlogs. This is gonna be it. Um, this you. cruise is just totally, just wanted us to retire, you know? Napkin oh, folding. Man. This is what we're gonna do for a living now. Napkin folding. 
Oh, I think that what we're doing for a living is retiring. Oh, true. Sorry, guys. We're That's be it. Professional retirees. <laughs> this last vlog ever. Okay. Here we go. It's getting serious. So you should have. You're gonna take the right side and you're gonna fold it into the middle. Okay. Now you're gonna take the left side and you're gonna do the same. Just your plate. Comment down below. One or two. Into the top. Who's is better? Is silverware silver goes up pouch. there. I, I think Casey's is by far. Silverware pouch. Man, mine sucks. Everyone managed to make a silverware pouch. These ones didn't turn out good because we just ordered drinks, but yep, Casey wins again. Thank you. Mimosas have arrived. Cheers. Casey's all about the napkins. I'm all about the mimosa. That's a splash of orange juice, baby. We made crowns. We can put our mimosa actually inside this. This is supposed to be a crown, but it kind of looks like corn. Casey might have won the napkin folding. But she didn't Fall win the chug the contest. Triangle. It's because I'm focused on the towels. Wait a second, I think I might have won this one. Whose rose is better? I don't know, I kind of like yours too. I don't know, comment down below, guys. I think that they're both great. The only thing is yours was a little more pointy. Yeah, this is to great. To start with, mine was not. So will you, you accept have... this rose? Of course I will. Rose. That was fun. You have my word. Every dinner now, I will make you a rose. I sure hope so, because you were really good at that one. We're going to practice now, because we're going to go main dining for lunch. Yes, I'm really excited, and I'm hungry, because we ate a light breakfast this morning. On purpose. On purpose, so we can get all the food now. Down one deck. It's amazing how small this ship is. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of people in here, which is nice. Fast service. 11.30. Here we go. We had to go down one deck, deck four. The nice aspect about this is that there's not that many people at the moment. They asked us if we wanted to share a table and we said we prefer to have our own table. So they do have a section if you don't want to share a table with other people, which is how I prefer to eat. You know, it's cool to make friends sometimes, but you know, it's Casey and I, so we wanted to have our own little private table here. Here's a look at the menu here. It's a very simple menu. Every dinner we have a napkin. There's your rose. So pretty. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I learned how to do that like five cruise ships ago. I got another mimosa. Mimosa number two. Maybe we'll have a competition to see how many I can have today. I got this spicy potato soup, and then I got mozzarella sticks and a salad. But I didn't get an entree, so I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit lighter. And also the appetizer sounded better to me than the mains did. And I got key lime pie again, because that was so good yesterday. Now, I got a Caesar, but with ranch, because I don't really like traditional Caesar dressing. And uh, then I got the pulled pork sandwich. Can't wait to try that bad boy out. Kind of reminds me of Perfect Day at Coco K, what they're offering. So, yeah, we'll see how it is. Royal's Ranch is so good. It is delicious. Kind of makes me want to order room service and get the wings, because their ranch is amazing. Something I feel like a lot of people don't talk about in Royal Caribbean is their butter and their bread basket. Like, their bread rolls are really, really good. And I'm in love with it. Looks like your entree is coming right now. Meh? No pull. No pull. Really excited about this pulled pork sandwich. Let's give it a bite. It's very barbecue-y. It's not bad. I really wonder if we can get this up at the Windjammer. And Casey's mozzarella sticks, they just look like okay mozzarella sticks. We'll see if we can get this up at Windjammer, but if you want a nice environment, come here. Because that's kind of what we wanted, something really low-key, not really as loud as a Windjammer. And we've never really done it before. Well, to summarize the main dining for lunch, obviously it's going to take a little bit longer than the Windjammer, but I think we enjoyed it. And we don't know if the food was a little bit different here than the Windjammer. We'll, we'll see in Definitely. a future vlog, but... Definitely. Got a mimosa to go, yeah. feel pretty relaxed, and that's the vibe today. We're on to the next adventure. I think on the app it says to allow an hour to an hour and a half for the dining room experiences. Mm. So if you're a little bit more in a rush and want to spend more time outside or doing activities, then go for Windjammer and not the dining room. It only took like 45 minutes for us, maybe yeah. even less than that. We decided to skip out on dessert because we were both really, full. really full, but... It's not full enough for mimosa. That's for him. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, hopefully our room is ready to go. Is it? No. 
spare, he's down a couple rooms, so I think that this is actually perfect timing, because we'll come in, get changed, and then we can leave again. I just talked to our stateroom attendant. I think we're only getting our uh, room cleaned at four, but you know what time it is? It's time for another drink. I'm going to get a mimosa. What are you going to get? I think I'm going to get, it's called Time for Gin. Good, how are Hi, you? Good, how are you? Um, we're not on the drinking plan, but we're room 4061. All right, I switched it up to another Kyle staple. We've had two mimosas, or three, I don't even know what it was. You've had three. I've had one mimosa today. And I told him to give me a Long Island instead, and he goes, we'll make it a blue Long Island. I've had it before, they're stronger than Long Islands, but... It just has yeah. blue curacao instead of something else. I'm pretty it's stronger. Sure. Probably is. And I'm excited for mine. Mine's called Time for Gin. It has aviation gin, lemon juice, simple syrup, thyme, and club soda. Sounds like my kind of drink. Here it comes. There it is. Thank you, sir. All right. Cheers to that. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I'm really far from it. How is it? It's not nearly as strong as that's gonna be. I'm not <laughs> pouring all the measure, you know, all the. Yeah, it's good. I could chug this. You want me to chug it? No, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> a little bit strong for your chugger. Honestly, it's actually a really good uh, Blue Long Island. The last one I think I had was on Disney, and I wanted to um, throw it overboard. It tastes like college. This worked out. Here in the centrium, there's a lot of activities and we're doing a uh, name the movie and the character based off the character image. We have 15 minutes. This is so minutes. easy for us. <laughs> it's like mostly Disney. Let's do it. Oh my God, I don't know those. I know it's Shrek. That's like Shrek 3, but I don't know the kids' names. <laughs> Every second Casey starts asking me, how do you spell this? How do you spell that? I mean, Casey. I shouldn't be asking him. Shouldn't be asking me how to spell or pronounce anything. Guys, I am really mad because we know it's from the movie Soul, but we forgot his name and it's just mind blanking us. It's kind of embarrassing as a Disney creator. We don't know this. What is his name? Also, don't know that name either, or or that either. We wrote We're Jigglypuff, just, yeah. which we then remembered is from Pokemon, <laughs> not from the Power This is fun. I think we figured it out, guys. His name is I, Joe. I, I, don't, I think so. I don't really know. We'll find out. Also, I am feels right. a little bit farther. I've been writing all the, all the answers. Yeah, she's got better penmanship too. This is what we put for our card. We are um, exposing ourselves. <laughs> this is hilarious. I like this one the best. <laughs> Strux babies. <laughs> I think a lot of you guys are going to be mad with her trivia. I'm terrible at trivia. Terrible. But we only lost by three points. We did. We did good, guys. So I would say we did pretty well. We did very well. We met this awesome this awesome group. They if you won. watch, you guys know who you are. Yes, and they were wonderful, and we I, really enjoyed talking to them. For the record, them. I did give them one answer, so they wouldn't have only had two above us. We lost by three. But yeah, that's okay. They deserved the win. Yeah. They deserved it. <laughs> All right, we're going to go up to the solarium and get another drink. To the solarium we go. They've got four bartenders in the solarium bar. It, it went really quick. There was a pretty big line, but these guys are and girls are hard workers. Cheers, Casey. Cheers. I'm still on my second drink. <laughs> Another Blue Long Island. You guys would be so proud. This one's stronger. We're in trouble. It's we're, stronger? Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> Yikes. It is so close. Please stop. <laughs> If you know, you know. We came in the wind jammer, and honestly, I don't know if it's because we just ate, but not a lot of things are just kind of like ringing my head here and telling me to eat besides fries and my and my cookie. I don't know if I'm disappointed in the food or whatnot. I just think I'm just not hungry besides fries. Guys, monumental moment. We're still doing the no stairs challenge. <laughs> You know, you know. Um, we just witnessed someone not washy washy. <gasps> it's concerning. It's hurting, it's hurting. It's hurting. Okay. I hope you guys are having fun watching this because we're having fun making this. Uh, it's a little bit blurry. 
It may not seem like it, but Casey and I just went back to, went back to the room and pretty much just relaxed. And I think we're going to go relax again. Oh, yes. Before dinner. We're looking at waves. The waves are insane right now. They are crashing into the ship. I'm surprised we're not feeling it more. But maybe because it's a little bit smaller. I don't know. They're doing what know. waves you think would do. They're waving all right. Cheers, babe. Cheers. My main vice in a blue Long Island again. The pizza's okay on the ship. It's like, okay, good. And this is the only one, which is weird because it's the only adult only section. It's the only place for pizza, but. We could be mistaken, but we have not seen other uh, pizza stations. And this is definitely not the same quality as Sorrento's pizza. Yeah, it's a little bit under. Yeah. Relaxing is done. Hopefully our, uh, that is my card down there. <laughs> Hopefully our room's ready by now. I think it should be. I think it should be too. Sat here for a couple hours, which was really nice. All right, let's go to our room. I think a room should be ready by now. Oh my gosh, it's ready! Let's go! Look at the cutest little tiny towel animal! Oh <gasps> we got one? Yeah, look at this! All right, everybody, welcome to the 1990s. It's taken a while for us to get our room ready, <laughs> but we got a towel animal, so it, it is all okay. I'm gonna cover what we have behind me, which is the most intriguing part of this room. But here we are for our cabin or interior. It's my first ever interior cabin. And even though this is from the 90s, it's it's okay for us. You think it's okay for you? I think so. I do miss having a balcony or at least mm. a window after experiencing rooms like that. But honestly, it's not bad. It's not. It's really not. I think it was refurbished in the early 2000s. I, and what I mean by that is that uh, they upgraded their Samsung TV, which is really just, they just show icons of the seas on that. That is pretty much it. It's not like Virgin where they give you movies, unfortunately, which is super cool touch. But um, here's what we've been dealing with. And the bed has been okay. The loudness has been okay. Yeah. I think it's, it's been a good fit. Like I thought it was gonna be worse. Um, carpet kind of on the walls here. It's been really nice having that. Even there's a lot of storage. So much storage. We did not have a problem putting our clothes away. Like you'll see over there, like it's very intriguing. Expect yeah. with that phone over there, but it's been okay. Like there's enough space for all of us. Casey's mask she loves to sleep with. I love to tease her about that. <laughs> um, but it's been okay. I love that it's a king bed and, um, yeah, there's so much storage. Like, what do you guys think about this? I thought it was totally fine. It's the only thing that's really annoying is that waking up and you think it's like still 2, 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. That's the only downside. But like, I don't think it's bad for the 90s. So I think it was refurbished in the early 2000s, but mm -hmm. there's tons of storage over here. We're really Definitely, surprised, yeah. surprised. The drawers are a little bit, um, a little bit messed up, I would say. They could replace these, uh, but the storage is amazing. And also the beds are nice because they put them together to make a king, but there's also the um, option to have the bunk beds in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Bunk bed over there, bunk bed over here. The only thing I did notice, no refrigerator. I noticed that earlier too, yeah. We don't have a refrigerator. Not that um, we really need it, but. We do have storage above here. It's, I gotta wear this. Maybe I should wear that to dinner. No, probably not. No, it's probably it's inappropriate. Formal oh, it's formal <laughs> night? It's formal night. It's formal night. Yes. Um, the internet is horrendous. We've been working with Royal. They've been really nice. Like, they let me set my computer outside over there. Super cool. Um, comment down below. Is this normal for the 90s? I was wondering what the Nelly this was for? That's the volume of the phone. Took me a second to wonder. Put it down? To figure out what that was. That's the volume of the phone. The phone or the ring? No, the phone. Oh, okay. You hear that? You can barely yeah. hear it. Now you hear it. Oh, here. Yeah. Our ringer was on high. Let's put that on low. 
Anyways, can you show us in the, in yeah. here? This is what I was really most intrigued about because I didn't know about this. So this is the closet area. So there's two sides to it, kind of. You have this door. Oh my God, my duck shirt. And then in here they have the hangers. And if you know, if you've been on a cruise, you've probably seen these before, but these are the really annoying attached hangers. Yeah. Oh, I don't love those. Um, yeah, these are kind of fine. annoying, it's okay. but it's not horrendous. You just have to remove them, but they come yeah. attached. The comedian last night made a joke <laughs> about that. But there's a ton of hangers. There's even another set of drawers in here. And then we were able to put our suitcases. I put his here and then mine there, which is nice. Super nice. Um, I think the best part of the room is in, in here, actually. Yeah. It, it seems really refurbished. Also, there's, a, there's two ladders in here if you do choose to have the bunk beds. I didn't actually know that. Yeah. You rock. It's because I pretty much took the whole closet off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see this. And here's the bathroom. The bathroom actually is surprisingly decent. Like, it's just like your normal Royal Caribbean bathroom. Like, it's nothing like Carnival. It's kind of upgraded. I think this is what they did in Dry Dock. The only thing, you know, you have the curtain. I usually kind of just shower with the door closed and this off. You have enough space. It's not too snabby. The only thing that you have to worry about is mainly just making sure you don't wake up at 2 p.m. Because you feel like it's 2 p.m. There's tons of storage. Tons of storage. There's there's honestly so much. That I never opened, but that looks kind of bad. <laughs> but there's there's a lot of storage, is what we're like saying. We just kept being like surprised on how much there is around every corner, but I don't know, comment down below. What do you guys think of the room? It's not as orange as it appears in the camera. So, uh. It's really not that bad. And we have a couch, which is nice. <laughs> we never use that, but hey. I, I mean, I'm using it around now. <laughs> <laughs> and here's your towel animal, right there. I wish we had like thousands of these. I really love towel animals, and after today, I love towel napkins. Napkins, napkins. Mm -hmm. I know how to make the body of that. With because of my book that I got. <laughs> Good job, Casey. I'll, I'll show you later. We're gonna head to dinner right now. It's formal night. I did bring pants, for those wondering. I brought pants. I brought pants. I brought dresses. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Formal night. I didn't know we had a formal night. I think I would have picked a different dress, but it's what we had to work with. It looks great to me. Thank you. As for me, I'm wearing the same shirt, Casey out did me. Well, you gotta wear pants. You got pants on, don't worry. And I don't forget pants anymore on cruise ships. This is us, right? Ironically, the longer line is guest with a rather reservation. That's funny. We've arrived at dinner. We already know what we want. We, we looked ahead. Here's a look at the menu. We got a nice, beautiful sunset here. Different seat than, than yesterday. Um, we have my time dining, so that makes sense. But I'm really excited. Hope you guys are too. I'm hungry. Can't wait to eat. Need you a rose. He wasn't kidding when he said he was gonna make it every meal. French onion soup time. Iceberg lettuce. All right, as far as my dinner went, the roast beef tenderloin was amazing. Casey got... I wasn't super, super hungry, so I got the spring pea and asparagus risotto, which is their vegan option. It was a miss. It's not very good. It wasn't super flavorful. But Casey did win the dessert. She got the warm apple cobbler, which was amazing. amazing. The creme brulee was a little bit underwhelming, and I also got the cream puffs, which weren't the best. The apple cobbler is the way to go. Yeah, the creme brulee didn't have the... Like the hard part on top, I forgot. Like the caramelized sugar, it didn't really have that. It, it like, didn't. It's a little disappointing. It's okay. With that, we just went and saw a Broadway type show. It was actually really good. We were skeptical about it at first, but it was actually pretty good, way better than a comedian last night. But that's gonna be it for you guys' daily dose. I don't think you guys are gonna see these videos on time, but they should be back to back. Fortunately, the Wi Fi here is not up to par. It's an older ship, so. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll see. Also, it is a uh, rumor that this is going into dry dock. So we'll see if that actually comes happen, comes and happens. And um, I don't know. It was a good day. A really good day at sea. Um, what do you guys think about the 90s 
cabin interior, first time in an interior, my first time in an interior, and it's not as bad as I really ultimately thought it was. I would definitely do an interior again if I have to, if I really want to go on the ship. It's not that bad. We haven't been in the room that much, and there's tons of outdoor space for just relaxing, which is kind of what we all did today. And um, you got anything? It was a good day. I really enjoyed the day at sea. Had a lot of good food, relaxed a lot, which is exactly what I wanted to do on this trip. So mm -hmm. all in all, it was a, I would give it a 10 out of 10 day. It was a good day. It was. A little bit too many drinks, adult beverages. For but you, maybe for you. It is what it is. We still have some two more ducks to hide. I got to hide one of these oh, soon. Oh, I forgot about that. So I have two more. Uh, Cosmel is tomorrow. We don't really know what we're doing yet, but mm -hmm. we'll find out. We'll we find out. We will see. We will see. So with that, that was it for your daily dose. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. This is a mega vlog.